So recently I was asked how I created this linear gradient from this upper plate to this lower section of this normal map in Endu 2. It's a fairly simple process, so I'm just going to go over it really quick in a video. First you're going to want to, you know, select the layer that you know you're going to want the gradient on. So I know I want this upper plate right here to slope down to this lower section, so I have it selected and I have it rasterized. That's important because if you don't rasterize it, you're going to have to do this all with masking. Um, I'm not going to go over that. Then you're going to want to marquee select the area that you want the slope, the gradient to be on. And go ahead and delete out the pixels. So there you go, you notice it's cut out. Select the gradient tool. Make sure you have linear gradient selected. Make sure that you're using a 100% opaque to 100% transparent gradient. The color does not matter and then click and drag and there you go you got your slope it's a really easy process um, really simply the way that this works the way Endu 2 works and pretty much the way Dedu works is all of these different folders are applying tons of different layer effects which essentially say any opaque pixel in here is going to be affected by all of this to create something that looks like a normal map but it's only going to affect it by how transparent, how opaque a pixel is. So this gradient is affected as a gradient. Very little effect down here, pretty much 100% up here, which is why you get this slope. Now the reason that's really important to know and understand is if you create a new multi-layer, you could very, very easily create things that look like dents or anything like that by basically just using any gradient. So now I have a circular gradient and when I drag it out it looks like you know someone's like poking it from behind with some really sharp object and trying to break through. Um, just simple concept, concept to understand. Hopefully it helps you. Have fun.